Ladies, 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 we are here today in the shield. And today in the shield, we are here to talk about NFL Draft 2020 steals from um, any round, of, any rounds of the draft. I could do like the, I think tomorrow I'll do like the worst picks or something along those lines. But just this is getting too much. Do my video today, do my stream on Sportscaster at 7 o'clock, which is Landon Dallas Payne if you haven't followed down on Sportscaster. So let's just get into it. Number 17, we're starting for 17, Cowboys, CD Lamb. Oh my lord. I was shocked with this pick. When the Cowboys pick came up at 17, I'm like, you better take CD Lamb, you better do it, Jerry Jones. And Jerry Jones, I knew they were going to take him. He was loud. He was smiling so much, I knew they were going to draft him. That's revenge from when the Eagles took Dallas Goddard from us. Our offense is stacked now. C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Mari Cooper, you have Blake Jarwin, Zeke Lake, Rump, the Mill, Prescott. Prescott, you have no excuses now, sir. You have no excuses for my Dallas Cowboys. We better make the playoffs. You better take us to the playoffs. We got good. We had a good draft. We drafted some good defense players. You better take us to the playoffs, sir. We have a whole new everything. And they're still at 55. The Ravens take J.J. Dubbins. I beg your pardon on J.K. Dobbins. And Ravens just got the rich get richer. They had a very good draft. J.K. Dobbs to add to that offense. With Lamar Jackson, Gus Edwards, Mark Ingram, J.K. Dobbins now. They're going to have a good team. And they drafted Patrick Queen. Well, I had to write something down right quick because I forgot uh, the player I just listed. I just wrote it down. Number 61, the Titans got Christian Fulton. I'm surprised he fell down this far. The Titans needed a cornerback, and they got a really good cornerback at 61. Number 72, the Cardinals got Josh Jones. Man, this was a steal for the Cardinals because this guy was projected like first, second round. He fell to the third. So they got a very good left tackle to protect Kyler Murray. At number 51, the Cowboys took... The Cowboys again here at 51. Trevon Diggs, he's a ball hog. He was at Alabama. The years he played there, he's pretty good. And uh, and it's pretty good value for 51. So I think he can be a good cornerback for us. The Eagles actually got to steal Prince. Take a one to go. Very good off, off the tackle out of Auburn. So we'll see. He'll probably replace um, Peters. Jason Peters, if he's retired, I don't know. Number 150, the Browns got a very good tight end here. Harrison Bryant. You got Austin Hooper there. You still have Najoku. Very good. The Jets took Bryce Hall, number 158 overall. This is just good value. They got a very good cornerback that fell 158. I was surprised he fell that far. Don't know why, but it's a good pickup. Dolphins took Curtis Weaver at 164. I thought he was going to go at least in the second, third round. He, went, he fell all the way to 164. Very good edge rusher. I think he'll be very good for the Dolphins. So number now number 168, the Eagles on there still John Hightower. I think he averaged nearly 20 yards per catch or something. Where the fuck that stat is. I'm not a fucking nerd. So he pretty good. The Cowboys once again drafting a very good edge rusher. Or pretty much a very good de defensive end, I mean. Bradley Anana to line up as um, with uh, Mark Swartz on the defensive line, he had 30 sacks in his career at Utah, so we got we have very good players. Uh, I'm going to get through this quick. The Browns drafted Donovan Peoples Jr., another target for their offense. Number 225, the Vikings took Kenny Wilkes. 80, the Raiders took Lynn Bowen Jr., very good player, versatile, running back, quarterback, receiver, anything. Number 37, the Patriots got a very good player here, here at the Lenore Ryan. Kyle Duggar, 44, the Browns again, Grant Delpit, 45, the Bucks took Anton Winfield, and 28, the Ravens. At 28, the, Pat the Ravens took Patrick Queen. The Packers probably should have, or the, somebody else could have took him. The Seahawks should have took him. Instead, they took Jordan Brooks. Pa the Ravens are always focused on their defense, and that's why I love this pick. So, but those are my 2020 NFL draft steals. But that's all I've seen. Till next time, I'll be like, holla at ya, boy.